Today, I thought I would share our latest launch. We are launching another shade of our famous liquid matte lipsticks. These are infused with avocado oil shea butter, so they're so comfortable and lightweight on the lips, and they are soft mattes, so they're not like super drying on the lips. Which is why I wanted to show you guys a day to night makeup tutorial today, so you can see exactly what the shade looks like on a very sort of light and daytime appropriate look, and taking it to this like dramatic cat eye, smoky eye. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. I hope you guys enjoy the new shade and are excited about it. And then at the end of the tutorial, I'll show you guys swatches, side-by-side -side comparisons with Holy Grail so you guys can see the difference. And let's get started with this look. So for my foundation, I'm gonna go in with one of my recent faves. It's the Dior foundation and it's in 3WO. It gives me a little bit of a tan and evens out my skin tone, but it doesn't really have like a ton of coverage. So if you have stuff you wanna cover, I I would say go with something heavier or pinpoint conceal. I woke up with that this morning. I was talking about how good my skin has been and then I jinxed myself. I'm gonna go ahead and conceal. I'm using the NARS Radiant Creamy in Custard. You guys are probably so sick and tired of seeing me use this, but I just love it so much. So I'm just gonna apply this under my eyes. Just a little bit on that bad boy. I'm using the IT Cosmetics Kabuki brush. This is great because it's double-ended, so you really can't go wrong. You just use one side to apply foundation and then the other side to blend out your concealer. I'm using a dry beauty blender right now just to really blend it and kind of take off a little bit of that oil and dewiness. I'm gonna powder my under eyes just a little bit and just around the T-zone. I love how natural the skin looks, so I'm gonna move on to finishing it up. I am gonna contour, of course. I'm gonna use the Milk Makeup Cream Bronzer, and I'm just gonna use my Kabuki brush again and just apply this on the hollows of my cheeks, and then bring it up a little bit, give my skin a nice little sun-kissed glow. And then I'm also gonna go over this with a powder bronzer. This is the Chanel bronzer in Deep. It's actually not a bronzer. I think they call it like a glowing powder, but I love it as a bronzer. So I'm just gonna use this with like a fluffier brush and just carefully apply this and like almost barely touching the skin. Then for my blush, I'm gonna use Melba. I've been using this a lot lately. It's just a really pretty shade by MAC. And when I used to work there, you guys, this was like my favorite thing to use on clients. This and style was my favorite. Just a little bit on the apples of the cheeks. It's crazy how confident you can feel just by putting a little bit of makeup on. Like I already feel so much better. So for my highlighter, because I want my lips to really stand out, I'm not gonna make it overpowering. So I'm just gonna go with something more like creamy like this. So I'm just gonna apply a little bit on the high points of my cheeks. You see how it just makes your skin super dewy? It is by Laura Mercier. Riviera Sun is what it's called. Okay, I'm gonna do my brows because I need my brows. I'm gonna fill in just a little bit, nothing crazy, and then I'll probably use my boy brow to set it in place. So I'm gonna go ahead and put on the lip now because the lip is the hero of the look. I wanna do the lips first and then the eyes second. That way I don't go crazy with the eyes. So I'm gonna remove this lip product I have on. I had Aquaphor just to make my lips a little bit softer, you know, because I feel a bit dehydrated, to be honest. Drum roll, please, the moment we've been waiting for. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply Phoenix. I'm so excited to finally share it with you guys. Like, I've been wearing the lab sample, which is what this looks like, for quite some time now, but I always, like, every time I take photos, I have to either, like, edit the color on the lips or just, like, completely not post it. So I have so many p photos already that I'm gonna start posting because I've just been holding on to it. Anyway, I'm talking way too much. So I always like to start with the straight line down ah! <laughs> and then distribute the color. Uh, it literally feels like butter. It's so soft. So this is an extremely buildable formula. So you can start really slow and build your way up. I find that that's the best way to apply a liquid matte without it getting all over the place or becoming too like thick. And then after a while, it kind of cracks on the lips. So just apply it layer by layer. 
So here's a little trick on how to perfect a darker lip. So you're gonna tilt your head down and you're gonna see all of the areas you need to perfect and using the tip of the, of the applicator, you're gonna go ahead and line it. So you actually don't need a lip liner with this because the tip is designed specifically to do that for you. I always like to overdraw my lips. I think it makes it look plump, nicer. So that's how you do the top. So the same thing goes for the bottom. You just wanna tilt your head up and you can see all of the imperfections and you're gonna go ahead and do the same thing there. It's easier when the mirror is closer, so I'm just gonna turn my head. Now you can see that it's straight and then when you tilt it down, you can see that it's also straight. Now that we have the first layer on, we're gonna go ahead and apply a second layer. I always recommend at least two layers just so you can get the exact color payoff. For that, you just wanna focus mainly on the center so that you don't mess up the lip line that you just created. If I'm being super picky, which I'm gonna be today, I'm gonna go ahead and perfect this even more with my foundation. The color is completely dry now, but I can still put my lips together. I can move my lips. It doesn't feel dry or powdery. It just feels so comfortable because of all the oils that we have in here. Another thing I love about this shade is that it makes your teeth look super white because it has like a little bit of a blue undertone. So the yellow pigment isn't as much as like a lot of oranges have. So this is just a beautiful kind of in-between shade. Okay, now that I've got this out of the way, I'm gonna go go ahead and move on to the eyes. Okay, so for this, I'm gonna use the Dior palette because it's just so stunning and all of the shades are gorgeous. So I'm gonna stick to kind of the neutral shades here. I'm gonna start with this lighter brown shade right here. And I'm just gonna pop this on the crease. Obviously, this shade goes so well with the Copper Kit and the Identity Palette. I just love it so much. So if you have those palettes, I would definitely recommend playing with them. So then I'm gonna pick up this gold shade right here. It's just like the perfect shimmery gold because it's not too overpowering. I'm just gonna apply this all over the eyelids. Love this shade, so pretty. Reminds me of Goldigger, but it's a lot more subtle than Goldigger. Okay, so I always like to put a brown liner on the inner rim. It just makes my eye color pop. It's just something I do. But if you have smaller eyes, I always say skip this step or apply something a little bit more lighter, like ivory. So I'm just gonna pop this on the inner rim and I'm just gonna focus this on the top. So I'm gonna do the same thing on the other eye. Again, you wanna focus on the outer corners and then just extend the liner. And by the way, uh, I'm using the Persona Cosmetics liner in brown. This comes in the copper kit. Unfortunately, it's not sold individually yet, but hopefully very soon. So for my mascara, I'm gonna go in with my YSL mascara. This is just so volumizing and I love how it looks on the eye. So I'm just gonna apply a couple of layers. It also separates the lashes, which I love. So this is it for my daytime glam. It's so easy to do. I'm not even gonna bother with lashes or anything like that because I want this to be very achievable for you guys. But yeah, I love how it turned out. Now let's go ahead and take this up a notch and make it more of an evening look. So for the evening look, I'm going to smudge and smoke out this line a little bit using the darkest shade in the palette. I'm just gonna stick to the same palette. Obviously, it's neutral enough where like you can use whatever you have at home. I'm just going to apply this on the outer corners. So I'm using a straight brush and sort of building on that liner and making it thicker and smokier. So I'm also gonna take this to the bottom lash line and smudge that and sort of connect it to that cat eye. I'm blending out that shimmer a little bit just because I feel like the cat eye is already like powerful enough where you don't need too much shimmer. So I'm just blending it out. And then of course, I'm gonna pop on some lashes. I'm gonna go in with the individuals because I just think they look the most flattering on me. So let's just go ahead and apply a ton of these. I wanted to finish this look so you guys can see side by side and how uh, different it looks just by changing two things. I just added lashes and obviously created more of like that smudged cat eye look, which I've been loving lately. I just love doing this with like a darker brown shade. So this is the finished look. Of course, I wanna know what your favorite look is in the comments below. Do you think that you're more comfortable wearing more of a natural look with this lip color or would you go all out and do something a little bit more bold?
onto swatching this next to Holy Grail so you guys can see the difference. So here's a side by side of Phoenix and Holy Grail. This is Phoenix and this is Holy Grail. As you can see, even in the actual packaging, it looks different, but let me swatch it and show you guys the difference. Here's Phoenix and I'm the worst swatcher, so please excuse that. And then here's Holy Grail. So as you can see, Holy Grail is much deeper. So here is the difference between Phoenix and Holy Grail. So that is it for this video. I cannot wait to see you guys rock this shade. Make sure to tag and hashtag Persona Cosmetics because I want to be able to see all of your looks and also share it on my stories as well because it helps other people see the shade on different skin tones. So please, please, please share it on stories and Instagram so that I can see it using the hashtag Persona Cosmetics. Thank you guys so much. I love you more than you know and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys!